Dozens gathering tonight to remember the lives of three teenagers killed in a crash. That tragedy happened Tuesday near Valmeyer. Tonight, Fox 2's Zara Barker is live outside Dupo High School with more. Zara. Yeah, good evening, Jasmine. All three of the victims had attended the Dupo School District at some point. And tonight, dozens of family, friends, and loved ones gathered to honor the three lives taken too soon. She's just a super sweet, wonderful girl. The sign of a deadly crash turned into a place of mourning Friday for dozens that knew the three teens killed in Tuesday's crash. I think I'm still in shock. Family and friends hugged, cried, and placed flowers and candles at the intersection of Trout Hollow and Bluff Road. That's where just days before, Bomberito Automotive Group Sky Fox was over the scene of that crash. The two passengers in the car, 13-year-old Savannah Amsden and 15-year-old Haley Latina, along with the driver, 18-year-old Joshua Moat, died when their car slammed into a truck. With the scene still fresh in their minds, their loved ones held a candlelight vigil and released balloons to remember the three lives taken too soon. This is the first time I've ever lost a student that has been in school. Savannah's teacher, Tracy Gokul, was at the vigil Friday night. She said she had just spent two days one-on-one -on -one testing with Savannah in a classroom just hours before the crash. She had a very big caring heart and she liked to please others and she liked to have new friends and be the be a good person is really what she always wanted to try to do is her best. Gokul was there along with some of Savannah's classmates. She says it's no surprise that many people came to show their support. Dupo's a small town and when you come from small towns everyone's a good support system for each other so I knew it would be packed down here. It's a good feeling of community. A community now trying to get through without their daughters, son and friends. I hope that they all find some peace. And three GoFundMes have been set up to help with all three victims' funeral expenses. If you'd like to donate, we have a link to their GoFundMes up on our website, fox2now.com. Live from Dupo, Zara Barker, Fox 2 News. Thanks.